well, November 13th, Saturday. Got up at 5, was potentially going to hunt in Ohio. Got pictures of Nipsey. Looks like he's following a doe, so I jumped in the truck and came up here. It's probably between 8 and 9 o'clock right now. Packed, got up here, packed a couple things he's just shot, and I'm going back. I'm going to get in for the day. It's cold. It's supposed to snow, rain later, but I'm layered up, and I'm just I'm going to get in. If he's on a doe in there, we got to be in there. That's for sure. So that's what we're going to do. Well, you guys, I'm back in here. The Flemish cap. This is where Dean killed Neil. Literally right behind here. And I've just had been having a weird energy pull towards this spot again all week. And we had a lot of good activity in Ohio. Almost got a shot off yesterday. Had a shooter within 10 yards of us and couldn't couldn't make it happen but for some reason them cameras blew up overnight up here and my initial instinct all week was to be in this spot today because the snow is supposed to hold off at least up the middle, middle part of the day anyway and I just felt I just felt something here when I was getting up in Ohio and I was debating on whether to hunt there or come up here. Packed my stuff, got in the truck and drove up. It's November 13th and I got a couple Sangies packed and I'm prepared to sit all day or until I kill them. This is one of those days up in New York that are just it's, it's perfect, you know, we're, it's a little breezy, it's very, very cold, and it's, like I said, it's dropped probably 15 degrees overnight at least, maybe 20 degrees from the high yesterday to the high today. There's no reason that these deer shouldn't be up on their feet, so if it's not him, maybe it'll be another buck, I don't know, but I feel really good about this about this sit. It's going to be a long, cold sit. Tough sit. <laughs> Tough sit for sure. But ain't nothing good ever came easy. So Get yourself a blanket. We're going to hunger down for a little while. It's crazy to know the doe. I caught a leg, literally just a little flash, like movement. And I caught a leg in my binoculars and I waited and watched. And that doe came in directly downwind. My wind is blowing straight this way and they came right, right up the gut. And they got all the way to the tree though. The doe, the mature doe circled the tree. 360 degrees she circled the tree but she was acting real funny she was acting real skittish like couldn't stop walking moving trotting and they definitely didn't get bumped but the her little ones were like trying to keep up with her but they couldn't she's got to be feeling a little frisky that's probably a probably a good sign 
actually. It's probably a really good sign. The woes of my season will continue and are continuing. You guys, I just had a giant right under me. Self-filming, man. It saved them. I mean, I can't believe it. Mystery giant literally just came right up the same trail as those doe 10 minutes after. I am sick. I am sick. Oh my God, man. He was just moving so fast. I didn't even have time to turn the camera around that way. I literally turned this camera on. I had enough time to get it pointed right here and got a quick clip of him. And that was it. But what a freaking stud. Unbelievable. I am sick. I am sick. I'm sick. right as it's freaking barreling down snow and thing. unbelievable unbelievable I am at a loss at a loss for words I'm sick I'm freaking sick How many close calls do you have to have in a season? How many close freaking calls? That was a giant. You just don't get mystery bucks like that popping up. You just don't. You absolutely do not. Not up here. That's the power of November for you. see the uh, weather has changed quite a bit.
Oh, you guys, this is uh, certainly not easy sitting water. We had easy sitting water last week. Not this week. Changed pretty quick. Matter of a couple hours. It's gone from fall to winter. Man, you guys, I know I'm gonna catch some flack for that one. People are gonna be like, screw the camera. How could you not get that done? How could you not shoot them? Well, that's the woes of self-filming for you. It's just part of the game. And I'm not, I'm not willing to give give that up. I'm just not. I'm not willing to not document this stuff. I'm not. I'm not. But it, it is hard. <laughs> Failing. Failing and failing and failing. But you just, you don't get anywhere good, you don't get anywhere great by being complacent, not failing, <laughs> taking the easy route. You don't get anywhere great by doing that, but man, that's, that was a was a very, very large New York buck. Probably the biggest, one of the biggest New York bucks I've seen in the woods. And the crazy part is, I've never seen that deer in my life. Never. the wild part about this bag means deep part of the world.
just saw him again. I just saw him again that door. That door, that door came up here. And she was acting funny. She was ran up out of the bottom. And I knew she was acting funny. And I'm like, where's he at? Where's he at? And three more doe came up. And all of a sudden I caught him coming out of the bottom. I got a little bit of footage of him going back and forth. But he has not caught her yet. Holy shit. Holy shit. All day sit. I haven't seen a deer since I saw him last. Cameras are soaked. Everything is soaked. Stupid. Stupid. But that's why we're here. Right there. That's why we're here. And he hasn't caught her yet. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I can't believe I just saw him again. That was insane.